Get your backpack ready. It's time to brainstorm another trip. This week in our whirlwind tour of the history of science, let's travel to ancient Mesopotamia, the land of Babylon and Nineveh. I hope you'll make some meaningful and unexpected discoveries this week as we explore the strange new world of ancient Mesopotamian astronomy. Because time is too short to look at every aspect of ancient Mesopotamian science, we'll focus just on astronomy. Though we have a limited time to visit, we'll not be like tourists in Nineveh or Babylon who seek fast food at McDonald's. Our aim will be to get to know the ancient Mesopotamian astronomers in terms of their own place and time, not just in terms of modern astronomy. What interests you the most about the history of ancient Babylon, Persia, or Assyria? What comes to mind when you think of these places? I think you know more than you know. Have you studied Mesopotamian culture before? Do you know much about ancient Mesopotamian art, mythology, or religion? What are some archaeological discoveries from ancient Mesopotamia? Have you heard of the Code of Hammurabi? Have you seen a photo of a temple tower known as a ziggurat? Can you read any cuneiform signs, or would you like to? What do you know about the early history of writing? Have you read the Epic of Gilgamesh? Did you enjoy it? Have you seen the Star Trek Next Generation episode, Darmok, where Captain Jean-Luc Picard retells the Epic of Gilgamesh? Have you seen any interesting movies related to ancient Mesopotamian science? history, or mythology. When you go outside at night, can you recognize any of the constellations? Do you like sky lore, the literature and stories of the constellations? What are your favorite constellations and sky lore stories? As always, when we're planning a trip, we want to better understand what people in this place and time were up to. What are some of the similarities between ancient Mesopotamian life and our culture today. How might these similarities help us to understand ancient Mesopotamian science? And what are some differences between ancient Mesopotamian life and our culture today? How might these differences pose an obstacle to our understanding of ancient Mesopotamian science? Mesopotamian culture was very religious how do you think this might have affected their science? What do you think might be the chief barrier that obstructs modern appreciation of ancient Mesopotamian science? Please share your thoughts on these things. What are your starting assumptions?